వెల్కమ్ టు ఏపీజీ పాఠశాల ఐఎం ప్రొఫెసర్ వే శకుంతల డిపార్ట్మెంట్ ఆఫ్ ఏన్షియంట్ ఇండియన్ హిస్టరీ కల్చర్ అండ్ ఆర్కియాలజీ శ్రీ వెంకటేశ్వర యూనివర్సిటీ తిరుపతి టుడే ది సబ్జెక్ట్ ఈజ్ ఆన్ ఇండియన్ కల్చర్ ది పేపర్ ఈజ్ ఆన్ ఇండియన్ న్యూమిస్మాటిక్స్ ది మాడ్యూల్ ఈజ్ ఆన్ ది కాయినేజ్ ఆఫ్ ది సిక్స్టీన్ జనపదాస్ ది స్టోరీ ఆఫ్ మనీ ఈజ్ లింక్డ్ విత్ ది సిక్స్టీన్ జనపదాస్ ది జనపదాస్ ఆర్ ది అర్లీయెస్ట్ స్టేట్స్ ఇన్ ఇండియా అండ్ దే హ్యావ్ ఇష్యూడ్ కాయిన్స్ ఫర్ దేర్ మానిటరీ ట్రాన్సాక్షన్స్ అండ్ ది కాయిన్స్ ఆర్ అట్రిబ్యూటెడ్ టు దీస్ జనపదాస్ based on the area where they have found and the symbols are attributed based on the area and the scholars and the numismatists who have found these coins in the archaeological excavations could study these coins and they have given certain important features based on the location now today we'll discuss about these 16 janapada coins based on the location and the modern area where they are located it is an enigmatic study like that of indus script still the scholars are working on this particular subject but still to give a brief account of the 16 janapada coins issued by the 16 janapadas based on the symbols based on the area and what are the symbols that they have they have on the coins and the metals that they have issued and the manufacturing techniques the features of punch marked coins will be discussed in the next 30 minutes for you to understand about the coins that were issued by 16 janapadas today we will learn about the coins that were issued by the 16 maha janapadas which is the earliest phase of issuance of coins in the indian subcontinent and uh, these coins give us the early historic phase and the existence of janapadas and the maha janapadas and uh, the coins and currency system in circulation in these janapadas and also different types of punch marked coins which were issued prior to the imperial punch marked coins that they are called as five symbol coins and also the local janapada coins which are contemporary to the imperial series coming to the introductory part of the subject we will discuss about the how the coins evolved we have buddhist and jain literature where we get the reference to the janapada coins the buddhist and jain literature refers to janapadas and their geographical locations in ancient india and the earliest coins of india were also minted using the punching technique that is why these coins are called as punch marked coins and these punch marked coins can be classified into two groups that is local coins when the, it was only a state they are called as local coins and when the state became an empire they are called as imperial and uh, they have issued certain coins when the empire was extended and these coins are called as imperial coins but today we'll discuss about only the local punch marked coins here anguttara nikaya also mentions about a list of 16 maha janapadas most of these maha janapadas minted their own coins though not at the same time these coins are pre-maurian coins 
and the, on the basis of fine spot of the coin hoards and a series of coins can be ascribed to the Janapadas of that particular region. And all these Janapadas had some peculiar symbols on their coins. Before going into the details of the symbology of these Janapadas, we will first discuss about the methods of or techniques of manufacturing of ancient coins. There are three important methods which we come across in the literature of the contemporary period where it was discussed, uh, especially in Kautilya Sardashastra, they have discussed about methods of manufacturing of coins. Here we have a common method which was the, first they beat the metal into flat sheets of desired thickness of the coins and cut into strips of necessary weight and size. And uh, this is called as common method and this is practiced even today. In the second method, the metal equal in weight to that of a single coin is taken and melt and then pour it in the earthen or wooden board for cooling and shape. So it is also found from the coins of Bahuba in Bihar where the molten metal was rolled after pouring to, the, to take the flat or elliptical shape. And the third important method was found chiefly related to the later Panchmarkut series where we find five symbol series that is Masaka coins. We call them as Masaka coins also. And this method was applied for circular and elliptical blanks of metal. And these were made of molten metal that is by dropping the molten metal from a spoon in water to take the shape. So they were thus fabricated from globals which were given a plaited shape with a hammer. So these are the three important methods which are practiced to manufacture the coins. Now we'll discuss about what are the features of punch market coins. There are different features we, we could see from period to period on the coins of punch market. And these punch market coins have no inscription and number of symbols like geometrical, floral, trees, birds, animals, reptiles, human figures like that we found about 450 symbols on punch market coins. And here a symbol or a group of symbols were confined to the coins of a particular area or some particular variety of type. Uh, all these punch market coins which are found in different, on different Janapada coins, we found these coins a particular variety based on the area. And this helped to distinguish the coins of one area from the other area and one from one state to the other state and one from one period to the another period. How did they place these symbols on coins? So because there are, the plan is different and the punch is different. Sometimes because of the olden days, the techniques were not mission made coins. These are all handmade coins. So the placing of symbols on punch market coins also we could notice. Here, if there is only one symbol on a coin, it is generally placed in the center of the coin. If there are two symbols, they are placed side by side. If there are four symbols, they are in pairs of two symbols, one opposite the other. If there are also coins which have a pair of symbols and odd symbols, if there are four symbols, two symbols are same and two other symbols are odd symbols placed opposite to each other. And the paired symbols are placed opposite each other and the odd symbols placed on two opposite sides. And some other coins have four symbols which are or four are different. And the coins which are smaller than the size of the punch, the pull punch could not be accommodated. So if there are four or five symbols, the plan generally did not have enough space to fully accommodate all the symbols. So symbols are punched only on one side of the coin that is on the obverse and the other side is on punch market coins always blank. Sometimes we have a small mark which is the mint mark. Regarding the punching techniques, some historians are of the opinion that the symbols were punched when the metal was in semi-molten state. And some other uh, scholars view that the plan of the coin was first manufactured and then sent to different authorities for punching. 
and many coins were cut into two halves of equal weight. Some scholars suggest that they were used as half denominations as legal tender. So on punch marked coins, we find symbols punched on on the border leaving the middle empty. So there are also overlapping punches to prevent forgeries. So these are all the features of punch marked coins. Now we'll find the features and how the techniques that they have adapted and the, how the coins of the uh, different Janapadas have issued different symbols and different uh, methods, different shapes. But the coin is of the punch marked coins, metal is silver. They, we don't find any gold coins of uh, uh, Janapada coins or the punch marked coins. We have only silver coins. Now we'll discuss with regard to the Buddhist and Jain literature, the coins that were found in 16 Mahajanpadas. So the Buddhist literature, Anguttara Nikaya, refers to 16 Janapadas, which were in existence before the time of the Buddha. They are Kashi, Kosala, Anga, Magadha, Vajji, Malla, Chedi, Kuru, Panchala, Asmaka, Avanti, Gandhara, Kamboja, Masya, Surasena, and Kuntala. But however, the Jain text also provides us with the list of a different set of Janapadas. Other minor Janapadas which are mentioned in Jain text are Kalinga, Vanga, Saurashtra. So among the early coins to be issued in the Indian subcontinent are those of Kashi, Kosala, Gandhara, and Magadha Mahajanapadas. This map shows the 16 Janapadas which were located in different areas and uh, you can see the modern name and also the old, old name of the Janapada. Now we will discuss the coins that were issued by the 16 Janapadas from one by one Kasi Janapada coins. This is identified with modern Varanasi district that is it includes the parts of Jaunpur, Gajipur, Mirjapur districts. And these coins are one of the earliest issues of ancient India. And they can be classified into two groups. The coins issued before the seizure of Kasi. These issues are of two groups, Bahuba type and Skipte types. Bahuba type coins are big and thick coins, vary between 5.1 to 6.4 grams. The coins include a pair of one symbol and two different symbols. Bahuva coins have two big punches of two different symbols and two punches of one single symbol. You can see the right side of the coin, the symbols which are, you can notice. Skimte coins vary between 4.4 to 5.2 grams. The symbols are two pairs of two symbols, one opposite the other. You can see the opposite side, the pair of symbols and these coins are issued after the Caesar. Two pairs of two symbols placed alternatively. One is composed of a roll and another appears like lotus. One pair of one symbol and two different symbols we can notice on these coins. Now coming to the Kosala coins. The Kosala Janapada is the modern Sahet Mahet in Gonda district. It has its capital at Shavasti and these coins may be divided into two different standards and they have the four symbol coin, a pair of one symbol and two different symbols. You can notice on this particular coin. Now coming to the Gandhara coins, Gandhara extends from Kabul in Afghanistan to Peshawar in Pakistan and Gandhara coins can be classified into three categories. They are bent bar coins, single punch coins of Gandhara and double symbol coins with animal motifs. Now coming to the bent bar coins, they are long bar type coins with two symbols punched at both the ends from a single punch. They are very peculiar coins and these are three types. Again, the bent bar coins can be divided into three types. They are long and good silver and medium size metal which was debased and made of short bars 
content of the metal reduced from silver to plated copper to pure copper. Now you can see the Gandhara coins with a single punch of punch coins of Gandhara on the left side and coins with the central symbol is also seen. And we can also notice the six weight standards which are known from Gandhara coins. They are 11 grams, 4.1 to 5 grams and 2.2 to 2.8 grams, 1.1 to 1.4 grams and also lesser coins recently we have found 0.49 grams and 0.20 grams also. Coins with animal motifs stuck on both the sides, one side of a wheel like symbol rudely executed and another side crude figure of animal or some other design. They also have three weight standards 9.5 to 11.65 grams, 4.4 to 6.0 grams and 2.1 to 2.8 grams. And these are the coins which are seen on the right side of the slide where the coins are stuck on both the sides. One side a wheel like symbol crudely executed, other side crude figure of animal or some other design. And now coming to the Magadha coins, Magadha when it was only a Janapada it has issued certain coins and these coins correspond to the present Patna and Gaya district of South Bihar. And it was only a small Janapada started with one big symbol and that is called six arm symbol. It weighs about 5.3 to 5.8 grams. Later it added sun symbol with weight range from 5.2 to 6.0 grams. You can notice the six arm symbol in the center and other symbols sun symbol. And here the four symbol coins which are known as Vimshatika sun and six arm symbol and two different symbols are also noticed on Magadhan early coins and they weigh between 4.6 to 5.5 grams. And uh, when it became an imperial state, imperial uh, Magadhan kingdom, it had five symbols known as Karshapana coins with five different symbols. The first two symbols are sun and six arm and the third and fourth remained constant and the fifth changed or the third was constant and remaining two changed or the first two remained constant and the rest three changed. So this was happened when it was the imperial state and uh, this particular Magadhan coins will be discussed in the later chapter on Mahajanapada coins. Now coming to the Vrijji coins, Vrijji or Vajji is one of the important rep republics of Buddhist and Vajji Janapata coins are double Karshapana punch marked coins with a single symbol that is geometric mark. The five triangles with two dots and three horizontal lines on periphery and a central dot in core extremely rare coin. You can see the symbol on the slide. So they are called as local punch marked coins, Narhana type. They are attributed to Vajji or Sakyas. Now coming to the Malla coins, Malla Janapada was situated to the west of Videha. It is the modern Dioria and Gorakhpur districts in Uttar Pradesh. And these coins are archic in nature. You can see the design there on the symbol. So composed of a big symbol in the center and they bear the symbols one bigger than the other and are composed of simple lines. Now coming to the Chedi coins. This Chedi Janapada is identified with the region south of Yamuna, that is the Bundelkhand region. And these coins are broad, thin pieces. Symbols are geometrical patterns, animals, rolls, six armed symbol, and scorpion like object with some other marks. You can notice the symbol. Now, coming to the Kuru Janapada, this is the modern. Delhi or Meerut district of Uttar Pradesh and coins are of later issues. The coins are have a distinguishing feature where a symbol that looks like a triskels with uh, crescents and dots 
This is found on the uppers of the coin. You can notice on the slide. And the later series of these coins have six arm symbol on the reverse. And these coins were issued when Kurujanapata was brought under the control of the Mauryan Empire. Now coming to the Panchala coins. It is the modern Parukabha district and the adjoining regions of Uttar Pradesh can be identified as Panchala Janapada. We have Uttar Panchala and Dakshina Panchala also, but the symbols are round, composed of dots, solid and hollow circles, pellets, lines, squares, torines, etc. on the Panchala coins. No coinage is seen in full form because the punches are bigger than the plants. Now we can notice the coin where the coin is small and the punch is big and the full symbol is not seen on the coins. So the reverse is also stamped with a large number of minute marks. You can notice on the right side of the coin. Now coming to the Asmaka coins. The Asmaka Janapada is located in northern Maharashtra, the district of Nasik, Dhule, Jalgaon and Aurangabad are located. And these are the these coins are small thin pieces of irregular shape. You can see the coin, it is not round, it is an irregular shape and bear neatly punched four symbols. So you can see elephant on top and also a six armed symbol and then a tree and a pair of symbols form a single punch. Now coming to the Avanti coins. Avanti Janapada is the modern Malva and Neymar in Madhya Pradesh. And these coins are also thin pieces of irregular shape. And the, there are four different symbols on these coins also. Elephant symbol is seen in all the coins. You can see the four symbols. Now coming to the Matsya Janapada coins. The Matsya Janapada is located in the Alwar, Bharatpur, Jaipur district of Rajasthan and extremely these coins are very rare. On the upwards of the symbol, we see the symbol which is one composite single symbol and on the reverse side fish like symbol you can notice. Reverse side also as big as the upper side we can see the fish symbol. Now coming to the Sorasena, Sorasena is the region around Madura in Uttar Pradesh. And Surasena coins are also not like the other earlier coins. They are the thick pieces. Only a portion of the punch or die is impressed. You can see the coins have symbols like cat or a line like animal placed over two inverted semicircles and taurine or a hill. Now this is the coin of Kuntala and this Kuntala Janapata had southern parts of Maharashtra and northern parts of Karnataka is known as Kuntala Janapada and these coins were produced by pouring out molten metal on a flat board and stamped them when the metal was soft. The symbol on these coins is simple and it, it appears like two pulleys attached to a bigger pulley uh, with two separate belts and these are thick dumpy pieces and circular or oval in shape. It is a bold symbol, we can see neatly. The Vanga coins, here the, this is, the Vanga Janapada is, the western part of West Bengal can be identified as Vanga Janapada and they bear three distinct symbols. Here you can find a single deck ship, a wheel, six armed symbol having six arrows placed around a double circle and reverse also has a control mark which is the, a conch shell. You can see the conch shell on the reverse side of the coin. Now coming to the Surastra or Saurastra coins. It is the modern Saurastra or the Khatiwad Peninsula of Gujarat that is the modern district of Jonagad, Amreli and Bhavnagar is identified as Saurastra Janapada. And on the upper side of these coins we find a central figure of an animal or a geometrical system symbol surrounded by a border of ancillary symbols. You can see the symbol. And uh, there are other types of Saurashtra Panchmarkar coins that is 
Gajalakshmi and Srivastha emblems on these coins. You can find recently these coins are found. One is of Srivastha symbol and the other is Sri Lakshmi symbol. Gajalakshmi. And the most important feature is they were produced by single die technique. And uh, they are small square pieces about 1 gram. Coming to the concluding part of the topic. Till now, we have seen the symbols on Panchmarkud coins, which, are, which have been interpreted differently. They vary from religious, astronomical, floral, faunal, possibly dynastic emblems also. And based on these symbology, several numismatists have used these symbols for building the chronology of these coins. Till now, we have discussed about the 16 Mahajanapadas and the coins that were issued by these 16 Mahajanapadas. Before that, we have discussed about how they manufactured the coins, the three important methods of manufacturing techniques that were used in ancient India, and also the features of punch marked coins, how the symbols are punched, and what are the symbols on these punch marked coins. The symbols are of na na natural figures which are found on the coins of punch marks. And uh, the Buddhist and Jain literature discussed about the 16 Janpadas and the issuance of the coins by these rulers. These, not the rulers, the states, the state, the 16 Mahajanpada states have issued. And these coins were found in the areas where they have ruled and they have attributed based on the area where they were found. Thank you for listening. For further details or for further enhancement of the knowledge of the subject, you can visit the e-text of the module. Thank you very much.